Tuesday, happy Tuesday, Royal Family. I know you guys had a great and blessed Memorial Day. All right, you guys, I am on a craving kick. So the next two videos, I know summer is, you know, upon us and we need to do light, you know, meals since it's going to be hot outside. But I am craving two things that I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me. First off, I have been craving some udon noodles, some spicy udon noodles with chicken and with chicken with chicken and broccoli. And of course, some cut up tomatoes in it. Go figure. All right, you guys, I'm going to give you the ingredients, okay? Here we have a pack of udon noodles, and I will show you how to prepare these. Here I have one chicken breast. I only wanted one chicken breast because I like the noodles more than I like the meat. But I did want to add chicken to it, all right? Here I have some green onions we're going to cut up. I have broccoli florets that uh, we're going to get the little stem part off. I just, I don't like that. So we're going to take that off. And we have hoisin sauce. We have sesame oil. We have cook them on, cook them on. Tamara soy sauce. And it's 50% less sodium. And we have sriracha. And of course, we're going to use chicken broth. Here I have one tomato, one garlic clove, and fresh ginger. Now, of course, we're not going to use all the garlic or the ginger. We're just going to take some out, which I'll give you the measurements, and we're just going to mince it finely. But we are going to use uh, the whole Roman tomato. All right, you guys, let me get this ball to rolling. And we'll come back and do some spicy udon noodles with chicken and broccoli. All right. See you guys back in a minute. Okay, you guys. I just wanted to show you. Um, I'm doing the prep work for the spicy udon noodles. And I wanted to show you how to mince uh, the ginger. I always remember when you're mincing something, you first slice it off. And always keep your hand above the knife. This will help you mince it and just bring it together. But always put your hands above the knife. And then you might can just, you know, kind of wipe it off. And then bring it back and mince it again. And I have these gloves on because garlic and ginger will forever stay on my hands. Okay, you guys see that? That's how you miss. You see how fine that is? All right, you guys. I'll be back with all the measurements. I just wanted to show you that. All right, you guys. I just want to show you this real quick also. I am taking the stems off of the broccoli florets. You see this little stem here? This is what I want to take off. I have did the majority of them. But I just want to show you uh, how I've taken the stems off, like this one right here. I want to cut it up to here. And most of you that watch me are pretty skilled. So that is the reason I don't do the prep work in front of you. Because you guys are pretty skilled, you know, to know how to do this. But for the newcomers, uh, I just wanted to show you. All right. I will be back. Okay, Royal Family, I've done the prep work on the tomatoes, the broccoli, the ginger, the garlic, and the green onions. But someone had messaged me on Facebook about washing your meat. And as you guys are my YouTube subscribers, I feel like uh, it's my duty uh, to tell you guys, yes, 
you should always wash your meat, especially meat that has bones in it, because when the butcher cuts it, the little white things you see on the top are bone fragments. So you should always wash your meat. But more importantly, which people don't say, you cannot use the same cutting board for vegetables, for chicken, and beef, and even for seafood. Uh, and I'm going to show you why. Here you see I have three cutting boards. This green indicates vegetables, which I use the white one, which I only cut vegetables on that. This yellow one is for chicken only. This red one is for beef only. I should never cut vegetables, fruit, or anything on these cutting boards. Let me show you why. You see here? You see those grooves? You have to really uh, sanitize that. And most of the time, I'm not going to say you get 100%, but you see it leaves grooves in there. So you definitely don't want fruits or vegetables. And the same way with the yellow. I think I got it on a different side, but I want you to see the little grooves in there. So always remember this. If you're cutting beef, use a different cutting board. If you're cutting chicken, use a different cutting board. And if you're cutting vegetables, use a different cutting board. And I would also say, even fruit, uh, use a different cutting board. And this is what I use for my clients because I have to be careful that I don't cross contaminate. So since I answered them on Facebook, I felt like it was right for me to tell you guys. All right, when I come back, we will be doing some spicy udon noodles. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, in this pot here, I have about six cups of water that I bought to a boil. And I'm going to add this 9.5 ounce of udon noodles. And according to this package direction, you only cook the noodles for four minutes. Once the noodles are done, you're gonna take them out and with a colander, you're gonna rinse them for, uh, to cool them off. You do not want them hot at all, so just rinse them off in the water until um, they're cool to the touch. All right, be right back. Okay guys, in this large cast iron skillet, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. And I'm sorry I didn't show you the olive oil in the, uh, in the ingredients list. And next we're gonna add our chicken pieces. Come on. Which, you know, I didn't cut up uh, that much chicken. So we're just gonna stir this around until, uh, you know, they're cooked. And then I'll come back and we'll add the other ingredients. All right, see you in a minute. Okay guys, we cooked the chicken until the pink is out. And I realized in a cast iron skillet, add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Now we're going to add three cloves of garlic and one teaspoon of ginger. We're going to stir that around. You so that just, you can smell it. And by the way, you guys, this is another one of my Mother's Day gifts. It's 12.5 cast iron skillet. For the life of me, I don't know what I did with my water. Okay. So now we're going to, oh wow, I smell the ginger and garlic. So next, we're going to add, in this uh, cup here, I have one fourth cup of poison sauce, one tablespoon of sriracha sauce, one third cup of soy sauce, one half cup of chicken broth to this mixture here. Oh, there's my whisk. We're just gonna stir it up. Oh wow, I can smell that ginger. And now we're gonna add it to this. 
So don't worry you guys. I will have the list of everything down in the description box. If I don't do it today, I promise you guys I will do it tomorrow. Alright, so we just added this sauce to it. And next we're going to add our cool udon noodles. Just let this <laughs> smell so delicious. Alright, let me get the udon noodles and we're about done, you guys. Hold on. Alright, I've added the udon noodles and uh, a half a cup of the broccoli florets, which I just put in the microwave, you guys, for about 40 seconds. And they're nice. They're not, um, you know, soft. They have a nice crunch to them, but yet they're done. All right, and we're going to cook this on high for about three minutes because all I want the sauce to do is reduce. Then last, we will add the tomatoes and green onions, and we will have spicy udon noodles. And I hope I told you guys that there was one tablespoon of sriracha in this. All right, when I come back, it will be done and plated. Okay, Royal Family, here is the finished product of my spicy loaded udon noodles. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that sriracha is pretty hot. I would decrease it. You my guys might like it hot, but you know, oh, it has a really nice kick. And I just, you know, put it in this bowl here and put some uh, chopsticks with it. Like I really know how to use chopsticks. But, you know, trying to be a little fancy, Miss O. But thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share and subscribe. And until next time, God bless you. And I'll come back. And I think I'm going to do smothered pork chops with whipped mashed potatoes. That's another craving, you guys. God bless you.